وسهلا يا مرحبا ان شاء الله we're going to take you for an exclusive tour of the University of Medina this footage is brought to you exclusively by Rosati Islam so how was your journey Ak? Alhamdulillah I'm just going to go around see where the students and knowledge where they do it at inshallah these buildings over here are some of the buildings where the tullab, the students, are living. And even this one on your right hand side. Each building has about maybe five floors. And on every floor, I don't know how many students there are. But over here, you've got the um, place where you can wash your clothes. Just over there. You can get it washed, get it ironed. Further down, you can get it. So do you have to do you have to share rooms? Yeah, yeah. In each room, depending on uh, which building that you're in, the older build, the older the building, the more people to a room. The newer the building, the least amount of people to a room. Why, why is that? It's the way they set it up. The older building is six people to a room. Imagine that. In one room, big room, there's six people in that room. The newer building, where we're going to see with Abdul Hakim, there's only two people. So how do you find that? Do you find it hard? Because obviously people from different countries, they've got different cultures and different habits. Yeah. So do you find it difficult to deal with? Or? Definitely man. With, with um, problems with regards to um, the mokayif, the air conditioning. Yeah. You know, sometimes somebody might want the air conditioning on, you might want it off. And it can, be, it can become problematic. But if you've got good roommates, alhamdulillah you're okay. Okay, so alhamdulillah. Let's walk. This is one of the mata'ams, the restaurants that you can, um, you can eat in. This one you have to pay money for. The other motor down there, um, the students can eat there for free. Oh, so sure like no. so this is this is like a restaurant you have to pay to eat in this one and the yeah. other one up there is, is free. No, it's like a big restaurant. Yeah. Oh, sure also different levels of food like. <laughs> I like this place man. You can get chicken rice, you can get shawarma, you can get um, chicken and chips. Various in it. What you pay for, what you get is what you pay for. So, well, what's so the, in, what's the, the in the free food, like? food what's that like? If it, well it's not free. At the beginning when you come it's free because you're a new student, yeah. they give you they give you vouchers, you're able to eat for free. But when you come here now, obviously now the, the prices the, the prices vary, but you also see the um, varieties of food, they also vary as well. Yeah, yeah. So no. it's a bit the quality is a bit more better. Alhamdulillah, this is the Rimada here. So when if like a new student comes, this is where he would have to come to get all his paperwork filled in. You know, like his registration, and he comes when he comes to get his, his student card, and any any of the affairs that is, that needs to be sorted out for the new students, they need to come here. Do you find it quite efficient when, when you came? Um, Alhamdulillah, because there were other brothers that preceded us in the journey. Alhamdulillah, things they were, it was a bit easy, but did you have any difficulties? No, no doubt. There, there no doubt there's no difficulties. Doubt. No Definitely. doubt there's difficulties, but Alhamdulillah, you know. Like with every with everything that you do here, there's there's, there's the difficulties are, difficulties are gonna come from it. But Alhamdulillah, yes, you know, yes, yes, this is um Qulyat al-Sharia, the faculty of Sharia. So once a person, like for instance, a foreign student, he comes from the West and he's unable to speak Arabic, and he completes his two his first two years in the um the Ma'ad al-Ta'lim al that is basically. Institute for the learning of the Arabic language. After he completes his first two years, then he will move on to whichever faculty that he's interested in, whether it be Qulyat al Sharia, Qulyat al Da'wah, Qulyat al Hadith, Qulyat al Quran al Kareem. Oh, there are many, there are many Qulyat that a person he can choose from, you know, once completing his two years in the um, Institute of Arabic. So you have to, so you have to complete basically two years, and then you come over to this side, and then you pick like what direction you like. Basically, after, after when you finish with your two years, then you can choose for whichever whichever one of the kulliyat that you want to go into. And this is alhamdulillah, this is like one of the most popular in the kulliyat. But it don't, it don't have to be two years in the maha. You might go, and they might say, okay, you're you're you're, you're Arabic strong enough to go into Mustafa Thalif. And you might only have to complete one year. What's that? Uh, level number three. Okay. You have these four levels: level one, two, three, and four. Alhamdulillah, the masjid's over there. So what is that? That's the masjid for um, all the students? Yeah, basically this is the, the masjid for the jam, yeah. for most of the students. This, um, they attend here. Well, how, many, how, many, how many masjids are there? Just one? There's, well, this is the main, this is the main masjid. The, the other little, like, like for instance, a Kulita Sharia, they have, a, they have a, like a, a Muslim masjid in here. But this is the actual masjid for the Jummah. So, so when there's Jummah, is everyone, Jum'a everyone when, goes when, there? When, when, when it's Jummah, the Salah, 
Okay, now we're at the Ma'had for Ta'lim al al Arabiya. This is where the new students that need to go through the Arabic um, language process go to study from 7.30 in the morning to 12.30, mashallah. Now, this is Qulat al Hadith al Sharif, where they specialize in hadith and sciences. Yes, hadith. Hadith. We have as well. Now, as you can hear, this is the Adhan from Salat al Maghrib. Right now, we're on our way to um, the building, Al Wahda Tathani. This is the building that I'm staying in. When I first came to the Jamia, they put me in Al Wahda Tul Ula, which is right here. And in Al Wahda Tul Ula, the first building, um, there's six people to a room. Okay, so you're in a room with six other people, five other people, and there's no partition. So, what I tried to do was um, I went to this Imada here, and I tried to, you know, complain and say, listen, I can't have six people to a room, I've got valuables with me. And um, they said, listen, go to all the other uh, buildings here and if you can find a spare room, we'll give it to you, no problem. So Alhamdulillah, after about three or four days, I managed to find a room in al Wahda Tathani, where we're going now. And that's a bit better, there's four people to a room and each person's section is partitioned off, mashallah. So I've got my own little section and I'm going to take you there now, inshallah. This is um, the building, Al Wahda Tathani, the second building. And this is the, um, the room I was telling you about. This room here has four people to a room. And as you can see, all of the rooms are partitioned off. This is one room here. This is another room here. And we've got another section. Another section here. And another section here. MashaAllah. You know? It's got the potential to be very cozy. But, Tafadl. Bismillah. Ahlan wa sahlan. This is my quarters right here, mashallah, tabarakallah. I've got a nice little setup. I've got my bed, I've got my desk, my computer, mashallah. A few books that um, a few brothers helped me get the other day. And I've got my internet as well. So, mashallah, it's got, it's got the potential to be very comfortable. You know, chat to my family, surf the net if I need to surf the net for anything. And then I've got my clothes, everything that I need here, mashallah. You know? And if you've got good roommates in your room, then it makes the whole experience of being in a room with four other people that much more easier and enjoyable, mashallah. So right now, how many people are you sharing with? Four people. Sorry, three people. Four including myself. There's four together. Okay. okay.